You have a surefire way of playing the rhythm correctly when you're learning a new piece. Spoil alert, <laughs> counting and using the metronome is not a guarantee. Today, I'm gonna to show you my favorite music app that I use with my students every day. Hi, I'm Heather from Briante Piano Duo. The app I'm about to show you has been a godsend for me because teaching rhythms is one of the most difficult parts about being a music teacher. But before I show you, I just wanna talk quickly about a few problems associated with just counting or just using the metronome. Number one, people really struggle with playing and counting at the same time, especially when they're learning a new piece. Number two, we don't always count steady or even, and we're not even aware of it. So it can sound something like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So it seems like an easy fix. Just turn on the metronome, right? Well, that's not 100% effective either because we're not even aware of how many beats we've played in the measure. So students often will skip beats or they'll add some extra beats. Okay, so what's the solution? Enough about the problems. Drum roll. It's called Speak Beat Metronome. You can get this app for free on your smartphone or your iPad, and it's called Speak Beat Metronome for iOS, and there's a similar app called Voice Metronome for Android. Let me quickly show you some of the awesome features about the app, but first, make sure you hit the like button, and subscribe if you wanna do some deep dive piano lessons with my mom and I on this channel. Okay, so I'm gonna to go to my music apps on my iPad and click on Speak Beat. And I'm gonna click on the gear in the bottom right-hand corner. Now this has some fancy features, but I'm just gonna show you quickly how I use the app with the basics. Make sure to stay to the end because I'm gonna talk about some important tips that I've learned about the app. So there's some fun voice options in the top left-hand corner. So click on voice and you can test out some different options. So if you like an English accent, you could try John English. One, two, three, four. Bergmuller's Arabesque is a very popular piano piece in 2-4. So I'm gonna set the time signature up here and make sure there's a two on the top and a four on the bottom. I have my students count this piece for eighth notes. So I click on eighth notes under subdivisions, and then I click on back, and then you wanna set the tempo and hit play. As you can see, it also counts triplets and 16th notes within the two four time signature. If you change the time signature to a six eight, You'll see more options like triplet sixteenths and even 32nd notes. If you change it to cut time to two, you'll see even more options like triplet quarter notes. One of the downsides of this app is that it doesn't think for you. So just because you have it on doesn't mean you're gonna automatically play the rhythm correctly, obviously. So you wanna make sure you understand the rhythm of a piece before you start practicing with it. So you can write the counts and the measures in some of the difficult measures. And then you could try clapping and counting out loud before you try playing. And then the next step would be to play hands separate with the speak beat and gradually work up to being able to play it hands together. Another downside of the app is that it can be difficult to practice with if you don't know your notes well. So if you're playing a piece like Claire de Lune, which has nine beats per measure and you mess up, then you're going to be waiting a while before you can start again at the beginning of a measure. So make sure that you practice without the speak beat a little to get to know the notes well. So now you have an amazing rhythm tool to use at home. But it's going to be pretty useless if you don't understand rhythms really well. So make sure to watch this next video about how to figure out how to count various rhythms and time signatures in different pieces.